hey guys welcome to my youtube channel so i'm back with a new video into our sql coding interview question series in today's video we will be solving a hacker rank problem so this type of logical problem can be found in various good product and service based companies as well and if you are able to solve this problem then you can solve many logical coding interview questions as well so without any further delay let's move on to the problem statement so the problem statement says you are given a table BST containing two columns N and P where N represents the value of a node in binary tree and P is the parent of N. So you are given a table called as BST containing two columns N and P. So you can see the sample input here having two columns in that table N and P wherein N is the value of the node and P is the parent of that particular node. So for one the parent is two for three again parent is two and so on up to for five the parent is none that is no parent for five. Now let's look at the problem statement now. So the problem statement says write a query to find the node type of the binary tree ordered by the value of the node. So we need to find the node type of the binary tree. So the node type can be root node, it can be leaf node or it can be inner node and it should be ordered by the value of that particular node. So you can see this is the sample output provided to us and we need to provide the node type of every node. So how this node type is coming before going into that part firstly understand how binary tree will be built from this particular input so here you can see for one the parent is two for node one the parent given is two for three again the parent is two so for three we can see the parent is two again for six the parent is eight let's assume six somewhere here and for six the parent is eight for nine again the parent is eight so this is how our tree is getting built now for 2 you can see the parent is 5 for node 2 the parent is 5 and for 8 again the parent is 5 only so this is getting mapped like this now here if you can see this particular row or this particular nodes have no child at all or there is no node below them so all these nodes should be called as leaf nodes so here if you see in our output 1 is leaf node 3 is again leaf node 6 you can see here and 6 is leaf node here as well and 9 is also leaf node now if we come into this particular row so any node which is having nodes above it and nodes below it as well or what we can say any node which is having child as well and parent as well so that particular node should be called as inner node so here 8 and 2 are inner node so you can see in the output here 2 is inner and 8 is again inner now if we come to this 5 5 has no parent at all or it has nodes below it only or we can say it has child's only so 5 will be the root node so 5 here is root node so this is how we are coming into the sample output and if you can see here below this is how they have give the explanation as well and this is how they have built the tree as well so this is how we will come into our output now let's move on to the solution part for this particular problem statement so first of all this can be solved using joins as well or this can be solved using the advanced select statement as well so as the problem is marked under advanced select in hacker rank so we'll be seeing the select approach only to solve this question so in select also there can be multiple ways to solve this first of all we will see the simplest way possible and after that we will go to the best or the optimized way to solve this pro problem so now let's see the solution so you can see this is the solution to this statement which i have written this is the query or the simplest query so for understanding this query now let's move on to the data as well so here you can see for finding the parent part first of all i have found the root root part of the parent part so what can be our root here where p is null so wherever p is null so that should be our parent node so i have written that part here select n comma root from bst where p is null so this will give us output as 5 comma root so this is one and after that i have union the next part which is finding the leaf part so if you see here what can be our leaf all the nodes which are not present here but are present in our data so i have written that here select n comma leaf from bst where n note in select p from bst i have selected p from bst and discarded all those records which are present here so this will discard 2 8 and 5 and 1 3 6 9 will be our inner nodes oh sorry leaf nodes 1 3 and 6 and 9 will be our leaf nodes and also i have written where p is not null here so you can try running the query without this part and see what are the, its consequences and see why this is important now we are done with the root part and we are done with the leaf part as well now for the inner part so inner nodes are those nodes which are present here only so all the nodes which are present here and are not parent nodes so those are our 
inner nodes so here we can see 2 is present 8 is present and 5 is also present so all the nodes which are present in this particular column and are not parent or not root so we will write a query select p from bst p comma inner from bst so i have selected all these uh, values here where p not equals to select n from bst where p is null so i have simply discarded i have written this query here directly that means i have uh, output of this query will be 5 and I have discarded this 5 where p node equals to 5 give me those records so this will give 2 inner and 8 is also inner and also it is saying in the problem statement it was written that uh, this should be ordered by value of particular node so this will be ordered by and we can write here and now let's run the code so when I run this code, you can see this is processing now. And yeah, this has been passed. All the test cases has been passed and we have got the output. So this is the one way, but this is not the optimal way. Now let's move on to the optimal approach as well. And first of all, before going to that part, let's submit this one. And after that, we'll go to the optimal way as well. So now it's getting submitted. It will check all the test cases. So all the test cases has been passed. Now let's move on to the another approach which is the optimal one so this is the other way to solve this particular problem statement in the previous approach we have written three sql queries and we were doing union of those three sql queries and after that we are getting our final output but here we had written or we have written only one sql query and using that query only we are reaching till our final output so here you can see we are selecting n we are selecting this particular n and we are handling the cases for the root and the inner and whatever left after handling these cases should be marked as leaf so here what we have done whenever p is null then we are printing that n as root for example here for the 5 and null case we will print 5 and p is null so this will be printing 5 comma root whenever n is present in select p from vst this for example when we are going to 2 and this 2 is present here also then it will be printing 2 comma inner and whatever left after this part for example 1 so for 1 we have ps2 so that is not falling under any of this criteria so that will be marked as leaf 1 comma leaf we will get for that particular part and after in the after that in the end we have ordered the values by this particular value ordered by n and we will be reaching till our final output now let's run this code and see how it is producing the output so now it's checking the sample output yeah so the cases has been passed now let's submit to check all the test cases so this is getting run yeah so you can see this is getting passed here as well so this is the way using which we can solve this particular problem so that's it about this video guys if you have found this video helpful then please do like our video and also share this with others and also do subscribe to this channel and also i have put the link to my telegram channel as well wherein you can find the updates to all the new videos and all other related updates of interviews as well so you can join that channel as well so that's all thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.